All right, so today I need to go ahead and try to abstract away I'm GUI from here. Because, like, I can't have in the Bring Up application, you know, physics items and position items and graphics items or the I'm GUI uh, functions to display them. I can't have them here. That kind of breaks the encapsulation that I've been kind of trying to hold on to. Trying to barely, but holding on. So, <clears throat> one of the first things I have to kind of figure out is how do I, I, I need some kind of, much like with simulation, I need to be able to uh, register and deregister components and uh, resource elements, rendering elements, functions. So, <clears throat> to begin that, uh, I'm going to need something, I, I do it with physics first, no, do it with uh, position. So what I'm going to have to do is, okay, I'm going to start here where I'm going to say like, okay, it's going to be like a sub-library like this. I need to get this kind of sorted out. TXT. Grab all this, put it here. Position 9 GUI. That, that, that. Uh, position 9 GUI, export. That, that. Uh, we just have like fo I'm GUI. Fo position otherwise, yes, that's still correct. Uh, do we have exceptions? No, we do not. And then that. Okay. We'll have a subdirectory. Of course, we need a subdirectory, so include. Uh, source. Hmm. Position. I am GUI. Need source. You make lists in here. So for the start, I'll need uh, I'll need this in here somehow. Okay, where do I put the registration of this stuff? Would it be here? I don't really think it would be here because this only includes what? Well, includes this for some reason. Oh, because, uh, yeah, the renderer, right? Takes in the graphics session. Hmm, yeah, okay. Actually, oh, yeah, and then it's all done in Vulkan. Right, 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 right. Hmm. Okay. So, the position 3D thing, what is this? Is this, it's literally just this. But, on the flip side, for resources, resources are based on uh, something else, aren't they? So, go to the declaration of that. This, it's actually not. Oh, that's a component again. No! resource here we go it's based on this where is this declared this is declared in full simulation core okay um so i guess i'd have to base it off of here so i need to have like full simulation as a core element but that, uh, this is because i'm still basing it all off of hmm Okay, okay. I'm still basing it off the C++ paradigm. Um, okay, so. I need to include faux simulation. So this might mean uh, simulation has I'm GUI, perhaps? Probably not. Yes, it does. 
what's in here? Include group data and that. Okay. So that means entity list and resource list can probably move up into that. Yeah. So I'll have to move that up, but I'll also probably want to do some kind of registration mechanism that's based out of here. So like, um, something like this, we'll have a component registrar that Registration is part of here, right? Yeah, yeah. Register functionality and stuff. So I need to like register I'm GUI renderer, something like that. Hmm. Uh, group data. Do I have an export for this? I do. Would this be even this? Or would I prefer to have it like a, as a some kind of other handle? Um, mm, I'm GUI is like fully C plus plus, right? find the source there okay this is C this is all C although but this is isn't this like all the namespace Yeah, everything's inside a namespace. So it is C++ only, effectively. Component registrar. Registrar. We, we, we can do both at once, other than having separate ones, perhaps. Yeah, maybe. Okay, how would this work? I much like the regular registration, which I have here. No, that's that. Source code. Mm hmm. Okay. A shared mutex. I'm going to do a shared mutex. I'm going to have two items. We're going to have simulation functionality. I 
Okay, maybe... What do I need? I need to register component element. And I need to, of course, deregister. And I need to do the same thing for register resource element. I am unsure. Okay, for resources, um, I'm going to need another thing, perhaps, because I have I have uh, resources that kind of split with loaders too. So resource element, and then I need to perhaps also have register. Because depending on where it's coming from, it may have different information associated with it. For example, like raw YAML will probably have like uh, file names and stuff, like the raw files it's getting from. But a binary one wouldn't. It would just be like getting information from internally. So like, yeah, even if it's the same resource, if it's coming from different source uh, locations, I need to have different, yeah, loader elements to deal with that. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for, to, for that, um, I, I kind of have it basically here, don't I? Now I think about it, I also probably want to update the register, deregister regularly to be independent elements like this, maybe. Or I might just want to have. Okay, how do I do this? I have in the, I have like single functions, right? Like this, you take in this type, uh, but you don't know if it's that type. You'd have to have like a, a common base or something like that. Because I can't know or hmm. Interesting. It'd probably be, probably be a bit different. What 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 I would have is I'd pass in perhaps like in entity list down here. I would probably just pass in the entity, and then I'd search for the pool, and then I'd search for the entity internally. So it'd just be a function. So the function would be. Um, The display function equals it would be a void perhaps for now. Okay, I'm not. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Actually, something I was curious yesterday was about this. What does the bool mean? Does the bool mean if it's been modified? Because if if so, then that might actually be useful as well. I, I need to. I just. I know it's a bit off top. Is off the beaten track, but I need to figure. I know. I need to know it right now. So that I can make assumptions based on whether or not this is true. Looks like it. Okay, so that's when it you pass it in and then it modifies it here. So what is it? What does this do? Input input scalar n. Get current window. Da, 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 da. It returns if the value was changed. Okay, it does work. Ex how I thought it does. Interesting. So I also don't need to have things static in memory. So would I even want to return anything from this? Not really. It'd be an internal kind of stuff uh, thing. So to do that, I'd have to have pass in Basically that, I think. Would I want to pass in these, perhaps? The set of pools? I might, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd have to do that, wouldn't I? So I need to include that, and then I need to include, or I can just do struct, right? Component pool base. What are, what are these? Sorry. Wait. Resource pool base. Okay, those are the kind of things we're registering. And then I need to do the same thing for the resource loader. So can I just like uh, get the simulation state? What are these? Loader data, these things. Uh, it's not what I'm looking for. I was looking for this specifically. This, that.
Realistically, I'd also want to do the same thing for components to be able to load either from YAML or from Hmm. Oh no, no, no. Um maybe. Hold on. I do this like I uh, I do the same for both, don't I? So under physics, now I just need to remember what I even do. When I register I have the collision shape loader. Yeah, it's for both. The difference is that I don't have this middle piece between them. I just import it straight into the item. Okay, yeah, that's true. Okay. sure which way to go with this okay for the moment I'll go with this but I may change it like how can I change it how can I unless I have a common base to pass data with which I might be able to do at least for resource and loader right now I can go through the, the, the pools do I need to know what the pools are Yes, I do. Actually, I do need to know beforehand. Because they are very specific. Like this. I need to know what the pool is before I can even get stuff out of it. That is an unfortunate... thing. Why do I do that? I do that because it's easy all right I'm gonna to have to probably think on how to redo data pools obviously so great job on me I have to do that in the future So rather than this, do I want to like register individual items perhaps or not? Not really. Maybe just like just register. Just register elements. Then it's a then it's a couple of pointer lists effectively. I'm not sure. I'll probably put them all together. Don't 
do I make do I make copies or just pass the lists in? Maybe I might just want to make a list, or I can just I'll make copies of them, I suppose. So it'll be like it'll be display function list. that up going on here okay mm, right Something like this, and then we can do the same thing on the way back out, like that. No idea what this is complaining about. All right, so how would this work? I just have to do the comparisons, wouldn't I? That'd be a boolean, wouldn't it? Be something like this. I'm not even building this, am I? Why not? Oh, right, I don't have it here. Okay, this will not be a shared mutex, it'll just be a regular mutex. I think. I mean, can I do share? I can do shared for reading, but there's almost no point, is there? 
because those functions should be done in order anyway, so I'll just go with a cheaper regular mutex. Scoped lock, we lock it. Okay, then we gotta go through four. We gotta go through all these. We gotta make sure we gotta do comparison, make sure that they don't really match. So how was it how would this work? If do that unless I have Because we're just comparing pointers up to a number of pointers. Uh, okay, so if Otherwise, now we have to go into the deeper comparison, actually fetch the memories and do the comparison. So, uh, can I do like a compare, like a mem compare? I might be able to do a mem compare. Mem compare. Number of bytes to compare. Okay. So this will be if this not equal zero. So yeah, we need and compare. Where is this from? Standard I/O or no? It just looks like it's a regular thing. So yeah. So we got p entity functions and p display functions. Entity functions dot data, and it's functions count times size of. Pointer. Hold on, I'm. Am I? I may be screwing this up somehow. I think I got the right uh, function. 
thing incorrect. Right. Maybe. No, but if I. Undeclared identifier of mem compare. Okay, where is this from? Tell me, CPP reference. Mem compare. C string. Really? Okay. Okay, it's in there, I guess. What was that? That is not what I wanted. P display functions, resource functions, dot data. Okay, we can just kind of return this entire thing as, or I could just leave it like this to make it a little bit more readable. I think I'll do that. Okay, now if, hmm, how would this work? Uh, for registration, do I have like anything deeper or does it just, it does have error codes. So I'll probably want to do that here as well. I'll need an error code type in here. Simulation and GUI success. Error already registered, not registered. Okay, we'll gra grab these. That, that, that. Okay. Those are the elements. We gotta add the error code stuff, which is all exclusively in the source area.
Okay. We got this stuff. Basically pretty normal. This okay, error code. Is it lowercase or uppercase G? Show me uppercase, oddly enough. That, 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 that. Okay. I want to define. I have this somewhere. There it is, right? Yeah. Find that. I want the result in case of this. Got that one. Okay, that's kind of there. We go back to this. We're going to return that. We're including that. So if match function list. So it's peak. loader. Okay, let's just compress all this down to be like loader. Make it all a bit simpler. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that for the moment. T function, entity function, display function.
turn type out of line definition. Really? Yeah. This one will also turn into this. So we got this if that immediately. Alright. If we get through that then we can just then we're at this point that we just register them. If we didn't find them yet we're gonna do add place back. We'll create a new one first of all. A new item. I'm get I got a lot of stuff open here. Get rid of it a little bit. Can I do this? I mean, it's not saying I can't. So maybe I'll do that for a standard vector. Uh, da, 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 da. When I create constructor, constructor, input iterator, first and last, or value and count. So we go, okay, we'll do a input iterator once. So we'll do this. Which means I can actually just put this straight on. Am I doing anything else with this? Not really. That I can think of. That's, yeah. And then we deregister. All of that. Same thing again, scope lock, we grab that. We 
go through like that. If we don't find it, then we return that. We found it. So we're just going to go like M. Okay, we can't quite do that. If this, then m function list dot erase the current iterator, and then we break, and then we return. This is all statically linked. Oh, not cool. If it's all static, then it's I don't think I think I think at least for the moment, this is kind of a good starting point that I can then move everything else out to their items and then start and figure out the registration process properly now. think because what did it just import it so it would just be registrar nothing else really needs to know about stuff I may also need a okay, registration. What's a, what is a registrar? Is it like the manager? One who's in charge of official records. Okay. So registration would be like me actively adding myself to the registrar or not. So it would be registration. Position register elements. I 
realistically, these should be returning error code as well. Um, is this just not working? Or position I'm GUI export? Or I just haven't, it's not included in anything, so. Yeah. Uh, actually, this isn't even like built at all, is it? Like it's add subdirectory that. Yeah, okay. It may just be easier just to add libs and then add something in here. Sources given to target this. Mm -hmm. Position ID private. Okay. Function with, yep. Okay, something I need to add to the list. I need to do registration. As well. Okay, we got part of it. quite yet. So this I agree. Do that it should nope 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 nope. Element registrar. I just call it registrar. I'm just registering I'm GUI stuff, that's it. functions very much much stuff mm, right all right register deed register back to registration okay I need to rip these out and move them up here it would just be a private item let's move that and move this here uh, 
Uh, entity list is the thing where it was being used. So remove this, remove this, and this section right here. So how would I do this? Hmm. Okay. For the moment, registrar. Where is it? There. Okay, is this, uh, should this be a class? Because otherwise I'm going to have to give it, you know what, I'll just, yeah, I'll just do it for now. Just give it. With registrar, we'll have to do it, give P registrar. What was that? That was not. Register elements, where we're going to give, we have uh, to include that render, was it render? Custom I'm doing. Uh, no, actually, that's incorrect. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And, oh, no, sorry. These, this, 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 this. I need to... Um, this needs to be reworked into accepting... That could be a struct. And then Yeah, okay, we'll do something like this. Uh, we need this, and then we need to kind of bring out the functionality that's in here. We need to kind of find the pool and do this. And then I put this in here. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I need to find the 
cool through this. Yeah, I'm hmm, not entirely on board with this. Yeah, I'm not. I'll wor live with it for now. If this is even going to compile, which I'm guessing it's not. Or, it w or uh, okay. No matching to Git component pool. Okay. Is it because I don't actually know what this is yet? Probably. Or... Yeah, it'd be a double pointer. Okay. From this, it should be... Oh, and then I need to include... Because I've actually done a good job of isolating them from each other, haven't I? Too good, perhaps. Nope, it's still broken. Why? Oh, it's because it's... Uh, hmm. Okay, maybe not as good as I had hoped. We have a one, and we have that zero. And zero. Sorry? It is a list of, of function pointers, right? Of one. What? Okay, give me full output. Star star. With an R value of just single star. What? Okay, uh, unsigned int, yes. Component pool base star, yes. Oh, right. Uh, I need to go back to the registrar and change that up. It's a pointer pointer for this. And then this should be this. Mm 
Okay, almost. Or, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right, it's that. That works? That works. Okay, whatever. Put that down here, or up here. Turn that. Registration, that and that. Class that, okay. All right, with that, now I need to kind of figure out how do, how am I calling these? How do I call these? We'll have a, another function that's like, entity okay I need this and this as well Uh, that should not be foes, uh, loader base. What was that? Yeah. Okay, back to registration. This, this, this. Mm, almost had a bit of a thing there. Vect registrar. So I need to need this. There's a scope lock. Okay. Then we've got to go through four.
Uh, is there one item per thing? Yes. So actually, I probably do want these other functions that have true or false. True if it was rendered, so I can break out early. False otherwise. Um, actually, no. In case, because elements, entities can have multiple components, so that doesn't really affect it here. Like, at all. Just going through this. Displaying entities, great. <clears throat> functions we've got to go through and we're gonna go through these like so we'll go through the function the pools pool count and it's locked for the duration of that. Okay, now okay, let's have something here for registration. No, hold on. How do I uh, structure this? I would have thought it through a bit more, hopefully, than currently. This would be... Okay, so this is separate. Where is it? There we go. Register. Yeah. know it's I'm GUI stuff. I'm already in here. In the I'm GUI subdirectory. Registrar, nope, that's the wrong registrar. Which registrar am I looking for? Where are you? There you are. OK. 
Okay. All right. Okay, I need to include that as a library. Is that a core? Yeah, this is it. I'm GUI. For the moment, they're all still intricately linked together, but I will. I should. Probably after this, I mean, considering the fact that, like, I've got the YAML stuff. And then the functionality, the YAML registration stuff kind of all separated out. I should really look at uh, diving into like proper uh, plugin system again. Like I kind of have something from when I did models, but that was kind of not a, it was the wrong scoping for that stuff. I've got a much better uh, separation of things that I think I'm willing to move forward with. So, yeah, I just kind of need I'm GUI. That'll be like the last of the holy trinity of functionality, loading, and then displaying stuff. And I should be able to move forward from that without issue. Should being the word there. Anyways, we got that. Going to go to here. Uh, not quite here. Here. Frame time info. If, if there's an error, then, oh, okay, yeah, I need error code. Then we need to return error code. what I want to do if I do registration failed hmm. then I'll probably want to deregister uh, basic IM GUI elements T registrar Just everything and ignore the error code from it, because of course there will be a lot. They will, blah, there will be a number of items that probably have not been registered yet. So that's fine. That's fine. I think that's fine. I'm not sure why it's erroring out. What? Oh. That's why. 
Okay. Die Wächter. Uh, is there really anything here? Do I really care about this? I don't actually care at this point for deregistration. Like, it's not like I'm deregistering specific items. I mean, it's just... It just runs, right? Uh, it, it just runs. No return, no nothing. Now, I do kind of like the idea of having specific registrars for functionality rather than a global one like I did for well functionality I may want to do that to be able to split it up and have multiple different simulations based off of different sets of functionality running side by side ooh that sounds interesting let's add that to the list Same program. Okay, uh, back to this. So what's going to have to happen now? Application somewhere in the application. We're going to have for this stuff. So we've got oh, that render render the state fo. Yeah, fo I am GUI. Uh, something like that. I'm not entirely satisfied with where it is right now, but I need to, I'll figure it out. Like when I have, again, more context and items running around, then I'll probably, a pattern will emerge that I will seize and use. I just don't have enough contextual awareness to really come up with a really good pattern or framework for this yet, as usual. But I will. One day, I will. Okay, application CPP. Down, where's the I'm GUI section? Because it's editor mode, right? Yeah. Where are the rest of these? There must be like a number of other items. No, I guess they're all just part of that. Hmm. Okay. I'm GUI state. Okay. Uh, register. If then that, okay. And then at the end of the application, where we
Let's see how this isn't going to work somehow. Perfect. Undefined reference to these. Okay. Ah, yes, I'm not actually exporting stuff here. Whoop. Export that, export that, and export that. runtime issues there are. There are no runtime issues and correctly there should be no position information on these. There's that with a rigid body. Yes, great. Close it all up. So now at the entity list I need to pass in the registration the GUI registration stuff or No, I'll have to pass it in, won't I? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Um... interesting thing here is I don't actually need to know what this is I just need to pass it along right I think so oh no I do because it's a C++ object so I need to actually pull in all the information about it so I can actually call the sub function of it yikes all right then here we go We are talking about we have p data entity. We have the yeah this and this. All right. Dang, it didn't work, unfortunate. All right, <clears throat> let's see what went wrong where. OK, 
to yeah i'm just i just have a one set so just do it here show me that okay i gotta i gotta dive into this one day it just keeps opening up the wrong files or breaking on the wrong files So we have this with one of these. We have a count of one, zero, zero. Okay. It's not a match, right? Good. Okay. So the first element here has these. We have one of these. Okay. So it looks okay at this point. And uh, this was what? Okay, and then this uh, D one C zero. Okay, great. Okay, we do this. We have one of these has a position. No. Okay, it doesn't quite get into here. It's going into here at least, right? <clears throat> what? It's now empty. Really? This is... Okay, that is... Going to the registrar, we're going to have these items, we're going to have... Okay, what is this? What is the place that I'm registering this stuff into? Hmm? Or just not having anything? Okay. DC48. Great. We add this to the function lists. DC48, great. And then I immediately deregistered it like a... <laughs> there. We go. Okay, maybe not. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, no, it's working. Almost. Oh, this one has a rigid body, that's why. Whoops. Yeah, it's not there yet. All right, all right, all right, all right. So that's kind of that. I mean, what 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 do I have left to do first? That'll that this will stay here. Mm -hmm. The entity list and resource list will probably be moved to faux simulation. I'm GUI. I'll have to move these. Create the physics registration. But all of that is kind of really uh, boring, busy work that I can do offline. No one's really interested in that. It's just doing this, this process over and over. The same thing I did for position 3D. So I think I call it there for this. That, this, this works. Yeah, this will work. All right. That's it for now. Cheers. Till next time, when I got another interesting thing to do.